Father, thank you. 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 Jehovah, thank you. Ye kabara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da 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 da. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasinde de 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 de. Ye kababa baba baba baba. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da kabure kibara kasanda da da da. Bara da 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 da. Ye kabure kibara kasanda da da kabure kibara kasanda da da da. Baba bara kadi de kibure kibara kasanda da 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 da. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da 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 da. Ye kabure kibara kasanda da da da. Ye kababa baba baba baba. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasinde de 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 de. Ye kababa baba baba baba. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da 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 da. Ye kababa baba baba. Bara kadi de 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 de. Ye kabure kibara kasanda da da kabure kibara kasanda da da kaba. Bara da 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 da. Ye kabure kibara kasanda. Da 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 kabure kibara kasanda da da da. Ye kabure kibara kasanda da 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 da. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da da kaba. Bara kadi de de kibure kibara kasanda da da kaba kaba kaba. Bara kasanda da da kabure kibara kasanda da da kaba kaba. Bara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da da kaba kaba. Bara da 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 da. Ye kabure kibara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da da kaba kaba. There is no like you, Jehovah. 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 Thank you, Lord. 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 Ye kabara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da kaba baba baba. Bara kadi de 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 de. Ye kabara kasanda da da kabure kibara kasanda da da da. Baba 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 baba. Bara kadi de de kibure kibara kasanda da da kaba. Bara da kabure kibara kasinde de 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 de. Ye kabara kasinda da da kabure kibaba baba baba. Re kibure kibara kasinde de de de. Baba 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 baba. Bara kadi de 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 de. Ye kabara kasinde de de kibure kibara kasanda da 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 da. Ye kaba baba baba baba. Bara kadi de 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 de. Ye kabure kibara kasinde de de kibure Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, everlasting Father. Thank you, ancient of days. <coughs> thank you, Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining me again tonight to continue as I continue the teaching on the pouring of the Spirit of God. Praise be the name. I continue the teaching, the pouring of the Spirit of God. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Jehovah, we give you glory. I'm trying to make sure that I'm I'm, um, I'm live on all the platforms. So I'm, just give me a moment. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power, and Jesus went about doing good. Jesus went about doing good. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. And that is what the Akiri, the scripture that the Akiri Shere ministry is worded and founded upon. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. My name still remains Anuluwa Kosimi Adelekon. 
And our theme for this month, our prophetic word for the month, uh, is taken from the book of Acts 2. He said, I will pour my spirit on the in the last days, I will pour my spirit upon my sons and my daughters. If we read it from 16, from verses 16 to 18, that, uh, that my 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 daughter, my the young ones will prophesy, the old ones will see will dream dreams and all that. And the Lord told me before before even before the scripture came, he said, My spirit is moving. And I'll pour my spirit upon everyone willing. Praise be the name of the Lord. And we have been looking at the pouring of the spirit since the month began. Last week, last week we look at the part two of it. Praise be the name of the Lord. I said that the pouring of the, of the spirit is real. It is happening now. I said the pouring of the spirit is upon the God. The, the, and the, the scriptures, the scriptures, the scripture for the teaching is the, the Acts 2, Acts chapter 2, verse 16 to 18. And we have um even in the old 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 old, um, old, old testament, we have it in the in the book of Joel, John chapter 2, verses 26 to 32. And also our anchor scripture is um, Ezekiel, Ezekiel 36, 28, and the book of Genesis 1, 1 to 3. Those are the anchor scriptures for our teaching for the months. They are pouring of the spirit. Last week I told us that when 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 the disciples when everyone gathered in the upper room, what happened was that the spirit of the Lord came, and it came down upon everyone that was there in the upper room, and and after after I told us that after the Holy Spirit came upon everyone, Peter that denied Jesus three times became a new person. Peter was baptized with the spirit of boldness. That everyone that saw him took knowledge that he has been with Christ. Before they did not know. Before he had denied Jesus. Before he had denied Jesus. And I told us that the, the appearing of the spirit, will, or the spirit of God will pour upon everyone willing. Everyone that is sold out to God. Everyone that has, who is ready to take responsibility for the assignment that the Lord has given them. Everyone, the Spirit of God will pour upon everyone that is willing and that is ready to comply and obey every assignment that is given. The vessel of the the, the, the Spirit of the Living God will pour upon vessels, daughters, sons, handmaid, servant, everyone willing to make sure that they, to, everyone willing and everyone giving of their life solely to the Father. Solely to the Father. I said the appearing of the Spirit on us is not so we can judge or declare war on behalf of the Father. The appearing of the Spirit of God is to bring the grand finales of revivals upon the face of the earth so that the glory of God will be shown on the earth. That is what the Spirit of the, of, 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 of the Lord wants to do. The Spirit of God upon us is not for show. It's for the glory of God to come down. It's for the glory of God to come down is for the glory of God to come down on us. That is what the Spirit of God, that is what the Spirit of God is set to accomplish at this time. That is what the Spirit of God is set to accomplish at this time through us. Through us, believers. Through us, believers. Praise be the name of the Lord. I said the main reason, the main benefit of the appearing of the Spirit of God is, 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 is that it will bring revival so that men will come to the knowledge of Christ. It is so that His glory be seen on the face of the earth. The appearing of the Spirit of God is so that the glory of God can be seen by all. The glory of God can be seen by all. And I mentioned again last night last Tuesday, I said, see, everyone has been waiting for the for the coming of Christ. We have all been waiting. He said, Jesus is coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. This is 2,000 years after. See, I told us that a 1,000 years is like one, one, one day in the eyes of God. A 1,000 years to us is like, like but one day in the eyes of God. So yes, when God says it's the last day, we must believe it that this is the last day. We must believe that this is really the last day. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So let's go into the part three teaching 
of this outpouring of the Spirit of God. My name remains Anulua Kosimi Adelekon, and I'm the lead minister at the Akirishori Ministry. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. As I prepared for this teaching today, the Lord told me that the outpouring of the Spirit will also be the outpouring of His gifts. Praise be the name of the Lord. He said the outpouring of my spirit will also be the outpouring of, of, of the gift of the Spirit of God. You know in the upper room when the Spirit of God came down, it came like a close of fire. And it descended upon everyone that was in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. But the Lord told me as I prepared this evening, as I was preparing, he said, my spirit pouring, the outpouring of my spirit is also the pouring of my gifts. And if we look at the book of Galatians 5, Galatians 5, chapter 22 to 23. Let's open our Bibles to the book of Galatians. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. Praise be the name of the Lord. We can see the measure and the mentioning of the, of the, of the nine fruits of the Spirit in scriptures. The fruit of the Spirit is love. The fruit of the Spirit is peace. Galatians 5, 22 to 23. He said, but the fruit of the Spirit, the result of His presence within us, is love, unselfish concern for others, is joy, it is inner peace, it is patient, not the ability to, patient, meaning not the ability to wait, but how to act while we wait. Patient is not the ability to wait, but how we act while we wait. Praise be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. He said, the fruit of the Spirit is kindness. The fruit of the Spirit is goodness. The fruit of the Spirit is faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Self-control. And he said, against such things, there is no other law. So that the, the law of God is founded upon the nine gifts of the Spirit of God. So, so the Lord says that the gift of the Spirit will be given to everyone willing as well. Because there cannot be an outpouring of, the outpouring, of, of, the outpouring of the Spirit of God on man without the gift of the Spirit. So the gift of the Spirit will show, will also show, once there is an outpouring of God's Spirit upon everyone that is willing, that is willing, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. to remember in scripture in scripture when when jesus was was arrested and, and before jesus was arrested and crucified and crucified he mentioned he informed his his, his, um, his disciples that the father has promised to send them the holy spirit and by the disciples i mean us believers empty. He's going to send a comforter and help which is the Holy Spirit. Praise be the name of the Lord. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. That is the book of John. John 14, 18. He said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. I'm going to come to you in the spirit. His physical body was leaving us. His physical, if a Jesus' physical body was living the face of the earth, but he said, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you yet again. That is what the book of John 14, 18 says. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. That is the spirit will come to us yet again. Because we know that God the Father, God the Son, and God, of, God is the Father, God is the Son, and God is the Holy Spirit. I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. And in the book of Acts, if we look at the book of Acts chapter 1, praise be the name of the Lord. Just pay attention. Pay attention to me. The book of Acts, Acts chapter 1, 4 to 5. Praise be the name of the Lord. The book of Acts chapter 4, chapter 1, 
chap, Acts chapter 1, 4 to 5. He says, While being together and eating with them, he commanded them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait for what the, the Father has promised, of which he said, You have heard, heard me speak. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized and empowered and united with the Holy Spirit not long from now. Are you listening to me? He commanded disciples that after his crucifixion, oh, after he has been arrested, do not leave Jerusalem. But you must wait for the promise of the Father, which is the Holy Spirit that he has told them that he's going to give them. And they will be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Jesus was eager. Jesus was ready. He was ready because it, the Spirit had to come on them. The Jesus' Spirit had to come. Even as soon as he died. Jesus' Spirit has to come even as soon as he died. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, 1 to 3, when the Spirit was brooding upon the face of the earth, it's an indication that the Spirit of God was in heaven. The Spirit of God was in heaven with, with God, with, with God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. But the Spirit came upon the earth, and he brood, and he brood upon the face of the earth, and they saw darkness, and God said, and we, understood, we understand the scripture, and God said, let there be light. We understand how God created the earth. There was no earth. There was no earth. But the God, the Father, God, the Son, and the Holy Spirit were all living, were all abode in heaven before creation was created. And when the Holy Ghost was promised, the Holy Ghost came from heaven. And the Holy Ghost has been in, on the earth. He came from heaven to the earth. And he has been on the earth till tomorrow. Praise be the name of the Lord. There was no need for the Holy Ghost anymore in heaven. The Holy Ghost is now with us here on earth. Holy Spirit is here on earth. Because the promise of the Father was that he was going to give us uh, the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has been released. Here on earth. The Holy Spirit is a promise, is the promise of the Father that was kept. Remember, Jesus was saying, I will not leave you alone. I will not leave you comfortless. So the Holy Spirit of God, the Spirit is not above anymore in heaven. The Spirit of God is here on earth with us. Pay attention to me. The Spirit of God is now living, 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 breathing here on earth. And we know that God is omnipresent. He is everywhere. The Spirit of God is here on earth with us. He's here with us. He's here with us. He's here with us. And by here on earth, I mean all over the world. My spirit is moving, says the Lord. My spirit is moving, says the Lord, and I will pour my spirit upon everyone who will it. The scriptures in the book of John, John chapter 7, open with me to the book of John chapter 7. Holy Spirit of God, thank you. John chapter 7. From verses 8, from verses 38 to 39. John 7, 38 to 39. He said, He who believes in me, I'm reading from my amplified version. He said, He who believes in me, he who adheres, adheres to trust, trust in me and rely on me, as the scripture has said, from his innermost being will flow continually rivers of living waters. Rivers of living waters. 39 says, but he was speaking of the Holy Spirit. But Jesus was speaking of the Holy Spirit. Whom those who believed in him as Savior, as Savior, were to receive afterwards. The Spirit had not been given then because Jesus was yet, was not yet glorified. He raised unto honor. 
But as soon as Jesus was gave up the ghost, the spirit of God was released. The pouring of the spirit of God is as a flowing, is as a flow of living waters. The outpouring of the Spirit of God is like a flow, is as a flow of the living waters, just as it is written in scriptures in the book of John, chapter 7, 38 and 39. He who believes in me, as the scripture has said, from the, their innermost being will flow continually the rivers of living waters. But he was speaking of the Holy Ghost. He was speaking of the Holy Spirit. Praise be the name of the Lord. The outpouring of the Spirit of God. The outpouring of the Spirit of God. water. It's an ever flowing living water. It's an ever flowing outpouring. Of, there's an ever flowing outpouring of the spirit upon everyone willing. It does not just flow and just stop. It's a continuous flowing. It's a continuous flowing. As long as we stay connected to Jesus, the source we will continually have access to the flow of the living waters, which is the Holy Spirit. Which is the Holy Spirit of God. I think you should start praying now. Lord, let your river, let your living, living water, let your living waters flow, flow, flow. This makes me remember the song. Let the living water flow by my soul. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. In every situation that has troubled my heart. All my strength and sorrow unto you I, I roll. Let the living water flow in my soul. If I don't get the lyrics, I think I get the exact meaning of what the song says. Let your Holy Spirit come and take control. The Holy Spirit is the living water. Praise be the name of the Lord. And the only way to stay connected to the living water is to be connected to the source, which is Jesus. Because he said, I will not leave you empty. The Holy Spirit is a promise kept. He said it's the promise of the Father. And we know that God is not a man that he should lie. Everything he says, he will do, he will do. He does everything he says. He said he was going to give us the Holy Spirit. And he did. The instant that Jesus died, the instant that Jesus gave up the course, when all believers were in the upper room, the Holy Spirit came down. And he had been, the Holy Spirit has been with us since then. Not going anywhere. It's not going anywhere. So if we stay connected to Christ, if we stay connected to the Father as believers, as children of God, we will continually have access to the flow of the Spirit. And the proofs will come out of us. And the proof of the Spirit is always shown on us believers. The proof of the Spirit is always shown by us, through us, through signs, through miracles, through wonders. They, they are the proofs of the Spirit. It is by Him that signs and wonders are performed. It is by the Holy Spirit in us that miracles are wrought through us. chapter 16 verse 17 Mark 16 17 
Praise be the name of the Lord. Holy Spirit of God, flow. Holy Spirit of God, flow upon me like a river. Mark 16, 17. These signs will follow all those that believe in me. These signs will follow everyone that is that has the Holy Spirit in them. These signs will follow. And you know, in the book of John 4 48, <laughs> Jesus was saying, If they do not see sign, if people do not see sign, they will not believe in me. So God already knows how the people are in the world. Until they see signs, they will believe. That was why they they kept bringing the sick, the sick to Jesus. They kept bringing the sick to Jesus because they have heard, they have seen the miracles that he wrought. So they believed. And they believe he, those ones too will be healed. So whenever he was around, whenever Jesus was around, people brought their sick to, to Jesus. Because they had heard that, he's a, that he is Jesus, the Son of God, the healer, the one anointed to heal. According to the book of Acts 10, 38, God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good, healing everyone that were oppressed of the devil because God was with him and God is still with him. Pay attention to me. The Holy Spirit has left heaven. The Holy Spirit of God is here on earth because God is omnipresent. The Spirit of God is here. The Spirit of God is here. The Spirit of God is here. And it manifests in us. It manifests in us through signs, through wonders, through miracles. And Jehovah has told me today when I was preparing, he said the manifestation of the Spirit of God is going to be manifesting. The release, the appointment of the Spirit is going to be manifesting through us, through the fruit of the Spirit. He said the appearing of the Spirit on us is also the appearing of the nine fruit of the Spirit. So as we are praying for the appearing of the Spirit of God, <laughs> God is giving us extra. Because there can't be an appearing of the Spirit without the gifts of the Spirit. Pay attention to me. Sign, wonders, always accompany a carrier of the Holy Spirit. Sign, wonders, always accompany everyone that carries the Holy Spirit. Everyone that has a measure, that has an appointment of the Spirit on them. Signs and wonder follow. Because it said, this sign shall follow. do we then press into the outpouring of the Spirit of God? How do we press in? When the Lord told me that this month is a month of the move of the Spirit, the theme of this month in the ministry, the Akimishore ministry is the move of the Spirit. Before the Holy Spirit told me that I'm going to do this teaching throughout this month, the outpouring of the Spirit. When the Lord told me what this month of August will be, were bet at the ministry. I was instructed to start a prayer meeting. I was in prayers on the 21st of July. I was praying to God. And I was instructed to start a prayer, a prayer tiring experience on Twitter space. I edited it loud and clear. I edited it. It wasn't an essay. I edited it loud and clear because I was with my journal. Because whenever I'm praying, I'm writing every instruction I hear down. down, my son was in the living room. I called him immediately. I said, Angela Uluwa, come. And he came, and I gave him my notes, where I wrote that instruction. 
I gave it to him. I said, read. My writing was not, was not okay then. I just gave him, I said, read. But he was, he was confused. So he just said he was right. The Lord said he has heard um, um, instruction to do um, Twitter space, tongues, speaking in tongues, 12 a.m., heavenly language, um, a word of knowledge will be released, um, do a flyer, listen for instructions. And I just, I just rambled it in my notes. And when I just gave him, he read it, he was reading it aloud to me. And I, and I, and I wrote in bracket, don't know how to start this. Even as I was getting the instruction, I wrote in bracket, I don't know how to start it, to start this. But I wrote Twitter space, tongues, speaking tongues. And when he gave me back, and I said, I don't even know what to do. He now looked at me and said, <laughs> Mommy, am I the one that told you? Ask God, he's the one that told you. And I was, I was shocked. And he left and went back to what he was doing. This was around to 1, to 1 a.m. In, 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 in the night, in the midnight. He was not sleeping, I was not sleeping, because I was praying. And I went back to God. And he said, that is what I want you to do. Twitter space, how, where? And he gave me specific instructions. He said, because the word for this month is the Holy Spirit. Then you are going to start every day from August 1st, 1 hour, 12 a.m., praying in tongues on my Twitter space. So I was not guessing because I wrote it down. I wrote instructions down. It was clear to me. So how do we press into the outpouring of the Spirit of God? It is, it is two prayers. When the Lord opened this to me as I was preparing for this teaching, I was wowed. So I started connecting everything. I started to connect. The people at the upper room, they gathered to pray. Didn't they gather? Jesus told them to not leave, just stay. So they gathered and said, he is dead. Now we know that the spirit of God is going to be released. So let's just be in one place. We, we don't need to be scattered about. Let's just be in one place. So they gathered in one accord in the upper room on the day of Pentecost. They were all there praying. They were all there praying for the outpouring of the spirit of God. They were all there praying for the release of the Holy Spirit. They were all there praying for the promise of the Holy Spirit to come. And the promise came. And all of them, it, 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 the Bible says they are all, the, the, the Holy Spirit was as a cloven, cl cloven tongues of fire. And it rested upon every one of them. It rested upon every one of them. So prayer plays, plays a vital role in the outpouring of the Spirit of God. Prayer plays a vital role in the outpouring of the Spirit of God. For us to see the outpouring of the Spirit of God, we need to stand in prayers. And I call, <laughs> and I call the prayers on Twitter, the, my Twitter space, I call it a Pentecost tarry experience. Praying in tongues daily. A Pentecost tarry experience. On my Twitter space. Every day. 12 a.m. After this teaching. I'm on Twitter space. Tarrying in tongues. Tarrying in prayers. And it will shock you. It always shocks me. That there is always a word. There is always a scripture. There is always a word from the Spirit of God. Every day as we pray. I don't prepare for it. I show up. It might be two minutes before. It might be five minutes before. The Lord will tell me. Holy Spirit will tell me exactly what the outpouring of the Spirit of God is pouring. What 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 significance is the pouring? What significant what 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 is going to be? What the Spirit is going to be doing in the space as we gather? So I call it a Pentecost tarry experience. Because we are not living. We pray for one hour. And it is. It is. There always, there's always an outpouring of the Spirit of God. So prayer. Prayer play, plays. 
Prayer plays a vital role in the pouring of the Spirit of God. Prayer is the door to get the release of the power of the Holy Ghost. Prayer. I started connecting everything. Oh, God is so good. God is so good. It's no, it doesn't confuse. He has everything planned out. And it says where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Prayer is the door to get into the release of the power. The release, the prayer, prayer, prayer is the door to get into the door we enter into to get the outpouring of the Spirit upon us. He says, my Spirit is moving and I will pour it upon everyone we know. Prayer is calling, is calling on the move and the presence of the Holy Ghost. By prayer, we call it, we call, we call the move, we call the presence of the Holy Ghost upon us. It is not just, just it is not just for the word to be released. That, oh, my spirit is moving, I'm going to pour it. We need to stand fervently in prayers for the release of the pouring of the Holy Ghost upon us. Upon us. divine duty into the army of the Lord. It is not according, it's not just for us to say I have the spirit of the living God. I have the presence of God. No, it is a divine, it is a, it's a call to divine duty into the armies of God. Because he said his spirit is moving. So God is is taking, is, is choosing his armies right now. He's choosing his armies right now. Because by the by the spirit of the living God, by the spirit, by the appointment of the spirit, God is preparing us for the grand finales of revival on the face of the earth. Where his glory will be seen. Because the book of Romans says, uh, the, the, word, the word earnestly waits for the manifestations of the sons of God. And when the sons of God manifest, the glory of God will be seen on the face of the earth. By the Spirit of God, it is by the appearance of the Spirit of God that the glory of God will be seen on the face of the earth. So the Holy Spirit upon us, the Holy Spirit pouring upon us is not just for fun. It is a call to divine duty. It is a call to divine duty in the army of the Lord. Prayer is a call unto, un, unto, unto, prayer is a call that, that, that prayer is, is, is a, I said it's a, it is a door. To get into the release of the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes. Prayer is also a call on everyone that is tasty for the Holy Spirit to be up to the poured on them. Prayer is what everyone that is thirsty, that is panting for the release of the Spirit upon them. Prayer is what we do to get it. It is, it is when we st- when we pray, it is when we are on our knees praying that God will see that this one is serious. This one is eligible to be an army. This one is serious. This one is panting after my spirit. This one is tasty for my spirit. This one is tasty for the appointment of my spirit. This one is eligible to be in the army of the Lord. on those who yearns, who pants for the living water. Those who their lives as is sacrificed is already a living sacrifice. That is the kind of believers that God is looking for. For his spirit to be poured on them. Those God wants to see the willing acts, the willing people, so that he can pour his spirit on us. When we 
stand fervently in prayers, he starts to pick. He starts to set aside his armies for the grand finales of revival that is going to come in the last days that we have. Spirit of God is God Himself. 
The spirit of God is mind, is the mind of God. The spirit of God is what causes men, it's what causes believers, is what causes the sons of God to do exploits. And you want this kind of spirit. All you need to do is to come to Christ. It's as simple as that. All you need to do is drop your sinful ways, drop your sinful, sinful lifestyle, and come into the kingdom. Just say, Lord Jesus, I give you my life. Lord Jesus, I give you my life. If you have given your life to Christ today, if you have given your life to Christ anywhere you are listening to me from in the world, send me an email, the Archivishore Ministry 1, the Archivishore Ministry 1 at gmail.com. I would love to hear your salvation testimony. Praise be the name of the Lord. Don't forget to join me 12 by 12 midnight, 12 a.m. I'm on my Twitter space and we are tarrying in prayers and we, we pray in tongues all through. We pray in tongues all through. God bless you. I'll see you again. I'll come your way again. I'll see you again on Tuesday, 11, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. As we continue the teaching on the outpouring of the Spirit of the Living God. It is my prayer and my desire that you continually encounter Akebishore, the good doer God, all the days of your life. In Jesus' mighty matchless name. Amen and amen. I'll see you on Tuesday. If Jesus tarries, God bless you.